let's learn some facts about sea creatures. What's your favourite sea creature? Do you have one? For me, I like the dolphin. I like seals. I like whales. I think they're really interesting. Um, penguins, turtles, platypus. Wow, I have so many favourite sea creatures. How about you? Okay, let's start with some facts. Sea creature facts. Do you know what a fact is? It just means something about them. Let's start with Mr. Octopus. Can you see him? I'm going to tell you about the octopus. I can see an octopus up here. Okay, so they live in the ocean or in the coral reef. What do they eat? Do you remember if they're a carnivore or a herbivore? They are carnivore. So they eat things like uh, small crabs or fish, sometimes a small turtle or snails and shrimps. They're carnivore. And how do they catch their prey? Do you remember we talked about predator and prey? So the predator is like the bad guy who catches the prey. That's what he's going to eat. Okay, so for the octopus, he catches his food using his long tentacles. And then did you know that an octopus has a beak like a bird? Underneath it's got a small beak. So they catch the prey with their long arms and then they bite it and put poison into it so it can't move anymore. And then they eat it up. And do you remember I told you that octopus has blue blood? Not red like us, it has blue blood. And something even more amazing, the octopus has three hearts. You know heart? Boom, 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 boom. Well, Mr. Octopus has three of them. That's amazing. Okay, can you guess what's next? It's Mr. Seahorse. Wow, such an interesting creature. So they live in the coral reef in the shallow water. So shallow means just a little bit of water. Deep water means very far down. So if we're talking about shallow water, it's like up here. Deep is down, down, where it's dark and dark. But the seahorse likes shallow water. They eat tiny little plankton and small crustaceans like shrimp. Okay? So that means they're omnivores. Plankton is like a type of plant and crustaceans are small little creatures. So that means omnivore, they eat both meat and plants. Seahorses need to eat a lot, okay? So how about for us? We normally eat three to five times a day. So normally breakfast, lunch and dinner, and then maybe some snacks also. But seahorses need to eat all day. They can eat between 30 to 50 times every day. It means they're just swimming around eating all day. And for the seahorse, what's also amazing with people, it's the mummy who has the baby. But with seahorse, it's actually the man. And seahorse, they are the only creature that can do this. It's actually the daddy who has the babies. Okay. This guy is the jellyfish. Jellyfish? They live in the ocean and sometimes in the lake. What do they eat? Okay. Small fish, fish eggs, crustaceans and plankton. Okay, that means they're mostly carnivores. They are carnivores because they eat meat, 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 meat. 
how do they catch the prey, the food that they're going to eat? They catch it with their tentacles and a bit like the octopus, they sting it with the poison. So it's paralyzed. It means it can't move. Like the freeze dance. And then they'll eat it up. Jellyfish have been around for so long. They are older than dinosaurs. So there have been jellyfish on the earth for 650 million years. Okay, the whale. I know I like to talk about the whale because we have them near my home in Australia. So the whale, they like warm water. They live in the ocean, but they like warm climate, okay? They come to the coast in winter because they want the heat. They are mostly carnivores because they eat like shrimp and squid, things like that. And so the seahorse eats all day, all day, all day. But the whale is nearly the opposite. The whale will only eat in summer. So it will hunt and eat a lot in summer. And then winter, it doesn't need to eat at all. It just, from eating all that food in summer, it gets a lot of fat. <laughs> and then it can live from that fat all the way through winter. Did you know that whales have a very loud sound? They are actually the loudest sound on earth. It's the blue whale. It can make a very loud sound. Would you like to hear it? I'll find it for you. Oh, that was loud. Okay. It's a shark. Sharks live mostly in the ocean and many oceans around the world. You can find the shark. They are definitely a carnivore. They eat fish, they eat squid. Sometimes they attack people and they even eat other sharks. They can eat other sharks. Sharks are very good with smell. They can got a very good sense of smell. It means that if they can smell some blood in the water, they can find their prey very easily. Okay, they can smell the blood and they know where to go eat the food okay so sharks are a bit scary what looks a bit like a shark but it's not so scary there's a shark near me Minky the pink dolphin yesterday so dolphins live in all the oceans they are carnivores just like a shark they eat fish and squid and crustaceans how do they catch their food hmm. so they do hunt their food like a shark but they have a clever way of doing it so the shark will just find what it wants to eat and sneak up and attack but dolphins, they get together as a group and they swim around, swim around and they trap what they want to eat in that group and then they can eat it. Do you remember trap? Yesterday we talked about Doozy Moo and he had the, tr the trap to catch Silky the silkworm. So dolphins do that, they trap what they want to eat. and. Do you remember the really interesting thing about dolphins? They sleep with one eye open and half of their brain turned off. So they can sleep with one eye open and half of their brain still working. That way they can watch out for other predators that might come to hurt them. This one is Chai Long's favourite type of food. Crab. Where does the crab live? On the seashore, like the beach, 
in caves, in sand and in mud. They are omnivores. Okay, so they eat um, both meat and plants. The meat that they eat is something small like worms. And the, the plants that they eat like algae, like small, small green things that grow on rocks, that type of food. Sometimes they dig a hole to live in and then their friend comes along and wants to live in that same hole. They will, they can fight each other. They fight each other about a cave or a hole. They don't want to share it. They will fight and take their friend's uh, place of living. That's not very nice. Okay. Did you know that the crab shell is actually his skeleton? So you know we have our skeleton, all the bones in our body? Well, for the crab, his skeleton is on the outside. But do you remember the hermit crab? It can change its shell. So it can live in another shell and when it gets bigger, it can come out and move into another shell. So that's what makes the hermit crab special. Okay, I hope you like learning about those special sea creatures. <laughs>